today's video I am going to use Bessel's interpolation formula for finding y9. So given y0 is equal to 14, y4 24, y8 32, y12 35 and y16 40. First we have to frame this forward difference table. So 0, 4, 8, 12, 16 are the x values and these are the corresponding y values. So here is the forward difference table. Now we have to complete this one. So this is, so for the first difference table, 24 minus 14. So we have to subtract 14 from 24. That is 24 minus 14, which is equal to 10. 32 minus 24, the value here is 8. 35, 35 minus 32, the value here is 3. And this one is 5, 40 minus 35. And the next difference will be, see, 8 minus 10, the value here is minus 2. 3 minus 8, the value here is minus 5. 5 minus 3, the value here is plus 2. Next one, minus 5 minus of minus plus 2. So the value here is minus 3. 2 minus of minus plus 5, the value here is 7. And 7 plus 3, the value here is 10. So we need the value of y9. See here, we need the value of y9. So the nearest value here is if you observe the nearest value to 9 is 8. So I am taking this as x0. So if it's x0, so th this value will be y0 and this is y1. C for Bessel's interpolation formulae. B for by. So we have to take two values at a time. Double, single, again double, again single and here also double values. So now we have to calculate the value of y9. So what is our x value? So x value is equal to 9. x is equal to 9. So I have taken the nearest value x0 as 8. And h is equal to the difference x2 minus x1. 14 minus 12 the value here is 4. So we have a formula ready as x is equal to this is x0 plus p into h. What is our x? This is 9. What is x0? This is 8. P. And this value is h. So which is equal to 4. This is 9 minus 8 is equal to this value is 4p. And 1 by 4 is equal to p. Therefore we have our p value as 0 0.25. So after getting 0 0.25. So we have to substitute all these values in the Bessel's formula. So how is this Bessel's formula framed? See here. So there is an easy way to remember this Bessel's formula. So, if you look here for one time, so we have to start with 0 and this is 1. So, we have to write in a decreasing order. So, 0, the minimum value here is minus 1 and the next one is minus 2. And here, 1, 0, this is minus 1. See here, this is 0, minus 1, minus 2. It's in a decreasing order and this is also in a decreasing order. In between, I am writing minus 1. Please remember and we have to select double single double single and double so if you observe this one so these values are nothing but so these are y values and this is first difference these values are second difference this is third difference and this value is nothing but fourth difference and next one please remember this one so which one that is zero one minus one this is two minus two so before that we have to write half so these values, you just keep it in your mind. And now I am going to write this Bessel's interpolation formula using all these. So here the Bessel's interpolation formula will be y0, yp is equal to. So these are the y values. So I am writing this y0. So this is y0 plus y1 divided by 2 plus. First of all, I am selecting the single value that is half. That is p minus half by 1 factorial into this is the first difference that is delta y minus 1. And the next one I am closing this half. So I am closing this half and selecting two values here that is 0 and 1. Now I am writing that is p minus 0. So this is p minus 0 into this value is p minus 1 by 2 factorial into so, the second difference I have to take the average, two values at a time, that is delta square y minus 1 plus, again this is delta square y naught divided by 2. And the next one, again I am including this one, half. I am taking three values, that is half, 0, 1. So, these three values I am selecting, that is 
now i am writing that is p minus half this is p minus 0 this is p minus 1 by 3 factorial into the third difference here is delta cube y minus 1 and the next one here again i have to close this half and i have to select all these four values which values from 0 till 2 that is 0 1 minus 1 and 2 now see here this value will be p minus 0 this is p minus 1 this is p plus 1 and this is again p minus 2 by after 3 factorial this will be 4 factorial and again double values we have to take that is delta power 4 y minus 2 plus again delta power 4 y minus 1 by 2 simply you can write like this plus and so on so this is how we have to take here we have to take single value and again we have to place and take double values again we have to rejoin this half and again we have to delete and take all the four values so this is the easy way to remember the Bessel's formula now i am going to substitute all these values so now if i substitute all the values here our p value is just now i have calculated what is our p value is nothing but 0 0.25 here is the value that is 0 0.25 so our p value is 0 0.25 now i am going to substitute so yp value will be so yp is equal to y0 plus y1 by 2 from the question if it's x0 this will be y0 y1 that is 32 plus 35 by 2 so this is 32 plus 35 divided by 2 plus this is p minus half what is our p value p value is 0 0.25 minus half is nothing but 0 0.5 by 1 factorial into the single value here that is 3. So this is 3 and the next value here is p minus 0. What is our p? That is 0 0.25 minus 0 and this is 0 0.25 minus 1 by 2 factorial into. So this value will be delta square. So these are the delta minus 5 plus 2 by 2. This is minus 5 plus 2 divided by 2. And the next value here is delta cube. So what is our p value here? p is equal to 0 0.25. This is 0 0.25 minus half is nothing but 0 0.5. And here if you see what is p? This is 0 0.25 minus 0. And this is 0 0.25 minus 1 by 3 factorial 1 into 2 into 3 6 into delta cube. What is our delta cube values? So, this value will be the delta cube y minus 1. So, this value is 7. So, this value is nothing but 7. And the next one here is p minus 0. What is our p? p is nothing but 0 0.25 minus 0. And this is 0 0.25 minus 1. And this is 0 0.25 plus 1. And this is 0 0.25 25 minus 2 by 4 factorial 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 which is nothing but 24 into the average of these two. So again single next one is double here there is an empty value that is 10 plus 0 divided by 2 and so on. So now I am going to calculate this value. So here this value is nothing but 32. So this is 32 plus 35 divided by 2 that is 33.5. The value here is this value is 33.5 and the next value here is this value will be minus 0 0.25 into 3 and here if you see this value that is 0 0.25 and here this will be minus 0 0.75 and this is minus 5 plus 2 is nothing but minus 3 divided by 4 and coming to this See here, this is 0 0.25 minus 0 0.5, it is minus 0 0.25 into this value is 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 minus 1 is minus 0 0.75 into 7 divided by 6. And the next value here is, this value is 0 0.25, this is minus 0 0.75 this value is 1.25 and this value is minus 1.75 into so this is 10 by 2 the value here is 5 divided by this value is 24 and see 
this value yp will be 33.5 and the next value is 0. Point, see here 0. 0.25 into 3 this is 0. Point, this value is 75 minus into minus the value here is plus and see what happens here so this this value i'm calculating this is 0. 0.25 into 0. 0.75 into 3 divided by 4 the value here will be this value is 0. 0.140 this is 625 and the next value minus into minus again this is plus so this value i'm calculating here that is this is 0. 0.25 into again 0. 0.25 into 0. 0.75 into 7 divided by 6 the value here will be 0. 0.0 this is 5 4 6 8 7 5 and the next value minus of minus again plus so this value i'm calculating so this value will be 0. 0.25 into 0. 0.75 into this is 1.25 into this is 1.75 into 5 divided by 24 the value here is this value is 0. 0.0 this is 8 double 4 9 2 1 8 and see now the final value will be this is 33.5 minus 0. 0.75 plus this is 0. 0.140 625 plus this is 0. 0.0 this is 5 4 6 8 7 5 plus this is 0. 0.0 this is 8 5 double 4 this is 9 2 1 8 the value here is 33 point 33 see here this is the approximate value and uh, this is the value which is needed therefore y at 9 so y at 9 is equal to this is 33.03076 is the final answer. See first of all we have to frame the forward difference table. After framing this forward difference table we have to calculate P and again we have to substitute every value here in this uh, Bessel's formulae and later after calculation we got the value. So thank you so much for watching. If you really like please go through the playlist and please practice consistently if you really like pass it on to your friends leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel thank you so much